Another big battle, the electoral battlefield, as it were, in Karnataka. Less than 12 hours to go. Counting will begin for the assembly elections uh, in Karnataka. And the stakes could not be higher, considering that the Lok Sabha elections are just a year away. कांग्रेस पार्टी को कम से कम 150 सीटें दिलवानी है क्यों क्योंकि अगर 150 सीटें नहीं आई ये फिर से चोरी करने की कोशिश करेंगे All right, which way will Karnataka sway? While the exit polls have given the Congress a slight edge, the party is already in a dilemma. We know about the bitter battle between Sidharamaya and D.K. Shivkumar for the Chief Minister's chair. But now a third player has entered the ring, and that is former Deputy Chief Minister G. Parameshwara. I will get more than 60% of the votes. Sir, what is the number you are going to get? Minimum 130, maximum 150 seats we will get. Congress party would come back to power on its own with comfortable majority. So, Adrinda, this is the first time in the world. 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 See, why is it there, Amaya? Why D.K. Shukumar? It is because in Congress party, there is a convention, you know, PCC president is normally given a, an opportunity. Similarly, the CLP leader. So apart from this, if there are other seniors, they'll consider. So you're saying there's a possibility of a third or fourth name also? There is a possibility. There is a possibility. All right, there is a possibility of a third or a fourth name, but... Uh... Is the Congress already putting the cart before the horse because the results have not come in yet? Not a single vote has been counted yet. Uh, is the Congress already looking down the barrel in terms of uh, the problem that it could confront of leadership as to who should be made Chief Minister? Shazad Punawala, BJP National Spokesperson, is here in our studios. Bhavya Narasim Murthy will be joining us from the Karnataka Congress. And T.R. Prasad Gowda of the JDS will also be joining us. Uh, Shazad, at least the Congress has a problem of who to become Chief Minister I guess in the case of the BJP, even the fact that they may or may not return to power is still an uncertainty. No, first of all, you know, there's a proverbial saying in Hindi, Gaon basa nahi lutere pehle aage. The village has not settled, the counting has not begun, the thieves are already here because INC means I need chair. And therefore they are all dreaming and they are salivating at the thought of the chair. But let me tell you, Zaka, there's another story that is doing the rounds that embassy hotel has been booked. The resort has been booked by Congress. This shows that A, they do not have any faith in their yet to be elected MLAs and B, that they are not crossing the halfway mark. And even if you see the surveys and the exit polls that were done, tomorrow the exact poll will come out. But a majority of them or most of them do not give the Congress party a decisive edge or pass the halfway mark. In fact, it keeps the BJP Congress very close and our vote share is 35-36%. That means there is no anti-incumbency at all. And in fact, tomorrow you will see the reverse happening. You will see the BJP marching ahead into yet another term of service, which has never happened okay. in Karnataka for a long time. Bhavya Narasim Murthy, uh, is this a sign of things to come? Even before a single vote has been counted, today DK Shivkumar says, I've worked very hard. Uh, yes, uh, the other day when he came on our show, he said, loyalty should give me royalty. Uh, then you have Mr. Parameshwara saying that why should it only be DK Shivkumar or Sidharamaya? Uh, it, can, it can be a third or a fourth name. Uh, is the Congress going to have to deal and contend with this leadership issue uh, even before votes have been counted? You know, we are very clear on who and how the chief minister will be selected when we come to power with full majority. All the MLAs will vote, one, and the high command and the MLAs, elected MLAs, will sit together and decide who will be the chief minister. It's as clear as that. And there is nothing wrong in being ambitious. What's wrong in more and more and more aspirants? The problem with BJP is there is a vacuum in their leadership. They don't have a face to even show that, you know, our leaders, we have tall leaders in Congress party. That's our strength. In fact, I really appreciate the optimism the BJP spokesperson has because uh, not just that and the arrogance that the BJP ministers have, 
yesterday, Mr. Ashok, in one of uh, in in one of the regional channels, I was also in a part of the debate where he actually said, you know, no matter what, we will form the government. Mm -hmm. Even if we are the second largest party, we will form the government with or without coalition with JDS. And he literally said the Karya Charane Agle Shuru Agide. That means the operation has begun. Such arrogance. Maybe that's because of all the corrupt money they have eaten from. You know, to speak on air, a person who holds a constitutional position speaking. Okay unconstitutional Le stuff yeah i've I, I, i've seen that i've seen that soundbite do the round so shehzad respond to that yeah. i mean is isn't this validation for what the congress and the jds have been saying all along that bjp is a party of operation kamala no first of all the congress has been saying all the election campaign through the election campaign that we have poached people from other parties we have poached people from other parties they were actually taking pride in it thereby saying that they had no confidence on their own leaders secondly Ambition is all fine, madam, but please tell me what is happening in Rajasthan today. You know what Mr. Pilot is up to, and what is happening in Chhattisgarh, Bagel versus Dio, and what is happening in Maharashtra, Nana Patole versus Thorat. So the problem is that the Congress Party, the only glue to keep them together, is Satta. And when there is no Satta, or one of them feels Satta is not there, there is no Vicharadhar or Seva Bhav, and therefore then they start destabilizing the government. And look at what has happened in Rajasthan. The people of Rajasthan are suffering. Similar fate will not ensue upon people of Karnataka because the Karnataka people are going to see a Kamal tomorrow in the morning that will be okay. uh, there in the people of Karnataka's T hands. T T.R. Prasad Gowda, uh, <laughs> your party, uh, a, a, most exit polls are saying will be a distant third, maybe not even cross 30 seats. Your leader, Mr. Kumar Swami, has gone off to Singapore. I don't know why. Uh, you have a spokesperson, a senior spokesperson of your party, Mr. Tanvir Ahmed, saying we've already decided our post-poll ally. What is going on with the JDS? See, exit polls, first of all, you uh, exit polls. Till tomorrow, you, we need to wait because we are, the way our party has conducted the campaign and the way we have reached to the common people, all 6.5 crore people, Kumar Swami has uh, traveled across North and South Karnataka, more than 12,000 kilometers, and with the with uh, uh, five five Pancharatna Yojana, and people of Karnataka all like the. Uh, no, like but the Mr. Gowda, why one, why is one, your leader in Singapore? One second, one, why is he in Singapore please. on the eve of counting? One, I, I will tell you that. I will answer that question also. I uh, I'm talking about exit polls. Exit polls. Uh, there were so many times, so many occasions has failed. Even in West Bengal, what happened in West Bengal, you know that. Exit polls, results, uh, uh, all reversed. They, again, Mamta Banerjee formed the government. The, the, those are the things that happened even in Karnataka. Sir, please also, answer the question I asked you, sir. Sir, please answer the question I asked you. You asked the exit polls again. Uh, no, no, I'm, I'm asking you, why is your leader in Singapore? At also, I'm telling you, sir, I will, I will answer that question also. You are asking about... Exit polls, uh, in exit polls, your party is not showing for forming. Okay, exit you polls. answered that. If Come to the second three, question. Three people, uh, yeah, that, that cannot be the exit poll. Mm. Okay, second question is, why your leader is in Singapore? Do you know he has undergone twi twice heart surgery? Okay. You, you people, if you know that, uh, and before, after uh, filing his nomination, doctor advised to take rest. He, uh, he was admitted to Manipal Hospital soon after... Uh, just uh, he was advised for one week rest, but he, he took only one day rest. Uh, soon after that... So wh after why the, then are leaders in your party saying, we've already decided our post-poll ally? Who is this post-poll ally? No, no, nobody can decide. And only Devagoda ji can decide. Uh, and Kumar Swami can decide. Okay. Nobody else can decide it. Only, uh, only, after, the, only after the results come. Okay. They will take the let, call. Let me only, come back to Shahzad Punawala. Shahzad Punawala, you know, I'm not, I'm not a votary for exit polls being, you know, bang on or getting it right. Many an exit poll has got it wrong in the past as well. But one thing you can agree on is that the direction in which the, uh, the wind seems to be blowing, that most exit polls seem to be putting the Congress ahead. Some of them are saying they'll be just short of majority. Some of them are saying they will win outright majority. But no poll or hardly any poll is saying that the BJP will actually cross. I think one or two are saying that the BJP will be short 
of majority, but I haven't seen a single poll that says that BJP will cross the no, halfway mark. No, in my uh, estimation, there is a News Nation CGS poll which has pegged us uh, across the halfway mark at 114. Mm. And uh, there is also Jan Ki Baat poll which has put us ahead and the poll strat uh, poll has put us together neck to neck. And more or less, if you see, the Congress has been pegged at 108 or 109. And the BJP has been pegged at 91, 92. So clearly, this anti-incumbency, it's anti-incumbency. There's no anti-incumbency there. In fact, the BJP's vote share is consistent at 36%. And Cong BJP converts more votes into seats as per you, 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 you yourself have been analyzing this. And if we stick at 36%, I am confident that the BJP will be forming a government tomorrow. No, the difference being that last time BJP was at 36%, Congress was at 38%, and yet Congress was at 80 seats and BJP was at 104. Right. This time, most exit polls have said that BJP may be in the 36-37% mm. range, but Congress could touch 40 so no. that difference of two could be three or maybe even five percent this time. Unless it reaches the mark of seven, eight percent, the Congress is seven, eight percent ahead of us, there is no way the Congress will be forming a government tomorrow. Bhavya and her leaders can celebrate tonight. They can have some parties, etc., thinking how they will be chief minister. But that's not going to happen. Tino mein se koi bhi nahi banne wala hai. Okay. It is going to be a BJP chief minister. Bhavya should congratulate us and we will talk about what work okay. we will do. Bhavya Nasim Murthy, yeah. Yeah. You know, the anti-incumbency wave, it literally shook Mr. Narendra Modi and made him stay here and go on road shows to every nook and corner of Bangalore. And uh, the desperation this national leadership of BJP had to change this wave, that shows the corruption, the scandals, and not one development project to their credit for the past four years administration. And Karnataka people expect a stable administration. And they know only Congress party can give that. And we have proved it in history, like from 2004 to 2013, there were six chief ministers. Then 2013 to 18, only one. After 18, there were three. No, That's but can you Congress can you assure the same, Bhavya, can you assure the same? No, can, no, no, can I ask you a question? Can you assure that there will only be one Congress chief minister between 2023 and 2028 if the Congress were to be in a position to form the government? Can you assure that? When one party gets a majority, it doesn't matter. We have proved it in the past. There was one chief minister or two chief minister. If there That's is any true. stable government, three CMs in one era. It's, from, yeah. it is from, it's because of Congress party getting a full majority. So it's not about me assuring whether there'll be one chief minister or two chief ministers. It's about stable government, you know, taking someone down, people quitting, and, uh, you know, uh, walking away. And uh, this doesn't happen if Congress gets full majority. And it has not happened in the past. Okay. But BJP, this has always been the case. But, but and people Shazad, have I, 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 I keep coming back to... They have suffered enough in yeah, the past Okay, I, I keep coming and back, Shazad, I keep coming back to the comment that Mr. Ashok made government and only to Congress say to the people of a state and, that uh, operation has already begun. That's insulting the voter, isn't it? You know, no, I mean, I have not heard that comment. I don't know what context it has been said in, whether it has been said in the context that we have started working for serving the people of Karnataka. I don't know what context. I'm not going to no, no, he, The exact the, words that he used were, no matter whether we are single Raka, largest Raka, or second largest party, we will be the ones Raka. who will form the government. No, that, can, uh, what can is wrong in? in having a hope? If they Even can if have second hope. Largest party. No, no, one second. Mr. Congress Party was the second largest party when they colluded with Kumaraswamy and they kept the single largest party out. This is their tactics. So don't blame it on us. Point number one. Point number two, ma'am. Bhavyaji, uh, Bhavyaji, I did not interrupt you. Bhavyaji, this is not that kind of a show. Bhavyaji, this is not that kind of a show. You will also know that in one tenure of five years, the Congress has given three chief ministers when Dharam Singh was also the chief minister after SM Krishna. So please don't give us lectures that you have given one CM in every tenure of five years. This is hardly the Congress's position. Thirdly, I only want to ask, look, the template for 2024 today is set by the Congress party. They want to play open appeasement politics for which the laboratory became Karnataka where they said SDPI ke saath tie up karlo. We will give religious reservation. We will remove the anti-cow slaughter law. We will go and say Bajrang Bali ki jai is a daravna nara. So the template of the politics that Karnataka has witnessed from Congress party is making the people of country also very sure that this time exit okay. for Congress from Desh T and from Karnataka. TR Prasad got a response, then I'll come back to you, Bhavya, in, in one second. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mr. I want to, Zaka, to that. Uh, yeah. Mr. Zaka, yeah. tomorrow 
results are coming out and we jds will play a key role now also i will tell you kumar swami will be the chief minister after the results okay uh, i mean no one no one expected that a party with 37 seats could give a chief minister and a party with 80 seats would back that but anyway anything can happen in politics yeah bhavya you want to respond yeah uh, so uh, coming to this we going in with coalition with jds in coalition with jds that was constitutional i don't know what problem the bjp spokesperson has with that and we are speaking about kamalat which is totally unconstitutional second point yes the bajrang bali ki jai the uh, we issuing uh, like in a manifesto saying that bajrang dal pfi this kind of organizations if they go against constitutional they will be banned yes we still stand with it but the prime minister using that you know instead of speaking about local issues and development and comparing bajrang dal people who are um, you know women don't even feel safe around them and comparing them with them with bajrang dal that actually furiated karnataka people okay. they wanted to do this Sh- anuman chali some and nobody turned up Sh- because we Shazad, know that despite you know, despite the congress get, giving you that society. issue it doesn't seem emotion. like it's turned Please? the tables for your party uh zaka exactly. this is uh, bhavya if i may zaka the issue of them targeting bajrang bali is not an issue of politics it is a issue above and beyond politics and i am talking but, 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 about madam please i did not interrupt you that's the basic courtesy we show on debates i am not interrupting you if your arguments are strong you don't need to interrupt me so the point is that i quoted the statement of mr rehman khan who said jai bajrang bali is a daravna nara now i believe bhavya is a proud practicing hindu do you believe that about that statement secondly ma'am as far as the politics of bajrang dal is concerned if bajrang dal is so anti women and so dangerous why haven't you banned them in rajasthan and chatisgarh you have a government there why are you promising it here do it there no also bhavya i mean uh, w- 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 yeah bhavya the point is i you know w- once again one one congressman told me this off record that you know how can congress promise the ban of a national entity in one state the pfi was banned by the central government because the pfi is an entity that operates pan india so only the central government can ban uh, an organization which it considers a threat or or uh, indulging in in criminal activity simi was banned by the central government pfi was banned by the central government you are not in power in the central government so you know on what basis have you asked for this ban or said that promise this ban of the bajrang dal if you come to power in one state i would like to first response to uh, what the bjp spokesperson said we are not attacking bajrang bali you compared bajrang bali with bajrang dal the prime minister if that's the case why did bjp government in goa bans ram sena does that mean you are against lord rama no just because they keep a lord's name that doesn't mean those uh, you know they are out of law they're outside the jurisdiction of law no they can't do anything they want they have a history of uh, assaulting women and these kind of organizations should be banned if they commit the same they we need them to in rajasthan and chatisgarh bhavya why have to ban them in rajasthan and chatisgarh and secondly i am talking about rehman khan statement about jai bajrang bali so please don't conflate the two what's wrong in saying bad jai bajrang bali are rehman khan has said it's a daravna nara oh, rehman khan minority affairs Darabna minister Darabna. tall leader from karnataka sonia gandhi is close aid narendra modi using it as a daravna nara he didn't say it is one you know he is using okay so if i say jai shri ram does it become daravna are you scared if i say jai shri ram if you don't vote for bjp you want to change the goal post Okay anyway where has Nadda, look, no look, no where has Nadda ji said this look, where has Mr Nadda no not I will not allow it on your channel okay. your channel is watched by billions of people yeah. where has Mr Nadda said that if you don't vote for Modi you don't get central schemes please show the statement ba- bhavya show the statement show that statement what statement where has Mr Nadda said that if you don't vote for Modi you don't get central schemes where has Mr Nadda said this stop please, this lying on television the congress has to stop Mr. this You want show, to show please show you? it Fine. please show you it you pass on your contact number i'll send you the link don't show me the link you play it right now zaka is happy to allow you the platform please play it please play the statement of mr nadda or apologize to my party and my party president nadda in a, a road rally he has actually 
said that. So please play okay, that statement out. Please, it's Zaka, I request you extend it for two minutes. Play the, play the statement out. Play the statement out. If you don't do your homework, that's not my problem. Play the statement out. I challenge her to. People of Karnataka have seen that statement and they were Please play it out, it. madam. I'm happy to you apologize to you if he said that. Please tomorrow. play it out. Put your money where your mouth is. Play it out. Okay. We're, we're out of time. We're out of time. A anyway, look, I, I, think, I think the people of Karnataka have spoken. It's just a question of tomorrow when we will get to know what is in their mind and what they have voted for and who they have voted for. But uh, we leave it at that. Thank you very much to uh, Shehzad Punawala, to Bhavya Narasimhurthy and T.R. Prasad Gowda. Uh, we will see what a fascinating campaign it's been over the last two months. It had divisive issues and polarizing issues. It had development issues. Ultimately, I always believe that the Indian voter is very, very smart. He or she knows what is good for them, whether their life has improved in the last five years and what they want to see over the next five years. That is the ultimate marker when it comes to Indian elections and concerns of Indian voters. And we'll be having coverage bright and early from 6 a.m. tomorrow here on CNN News 18, your one-stop destination for all your Karnataka results. We will give it to you not just fastest, but also the most credible. That's starting 6 a.m. tomorrow here on CNN News 18.